Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank hey. you. Hi, Kalani. Can you turn Hi. your camera on? Hi, my Hi, you got your camera on. Hey. Hi. Hi. You look so cute, girl. Oh, uh, I'm sick, so just excuse that. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Kalani. I'm from Maryland. Hey. Hey, nice. Nice. To what meet is you. the questions, Kalani? Okay, so I just wanted to come up here and ask questions that I feel like nobody else has really asked, um, or like that other questions people want to ask. Um, my first question is. I know you guys have seen the other clips. I know that's your penthouse, right? It's penthouse, right? That you guys stay in now. Um, I know there's been other TikToks, basically, of other people that also have lived or, like, other content creators. What do you guys have to say about that? Like, is it a penthouse content creators use or? Yo, what other TikTokers have you seen here? Um, it was actually a TikTok I seen. It was a couple of different uh, male and female, like in the penthouse, in front of the um, painting that's in the back, in front of the computer. There's mm -hmm. other content creators that have. Um, so all the all the stuff was the same, right? Yeah, like it looked. It and was, and were the was were the exactly. were the awards there too with my name on it? Well, I can't really see the awards, mm -hmm. like see your name well, on the, it, but it's. I'm with you. Well, the awards have my name on it. And all these, you know, arts that look like AMX cars, even though they're art, it's just custom art. Um, those have my name on it as well. So wouldn't that reinforce that this is my place? And like I said, like when I do business with people, when I have clients, I'll do whatever it takes to like make sure they succeed. So when my clients are crushing it, I actually fly my clients out and they come and visit right. me. I'm not the guy that's just selling courses. Like when I do business with somebody and you crush it, I'm gonna fly you out. That's just how I am. So, you, you yeah, it was more so of like I know there were people saying that it was an Airbnb. Um, I know there were people saying that other con like it's just a penthouse that I think, other content I think, creators. I think use. people will just look at any way to like disprove. Like people see us and they have an opinion and that's cool and they just look for ways to like defend their opinion. I mean, if it's an Airbnb, how will we go live here every day? Like, if somebody messages me on Instagram and asks me a question and I send you a video message, like, how am I able to send you a video message from this place every day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. But I think that kind of ties into why people are saying, oh, you haven't shown, like, the women's clothes, like, their clothes in there. When you've given the tour, yeah, you but, haven't but shown. The thing, is, the thing is, they just want stuff to clip up. Like, I've shown my closet. Why does my closet look that way? Um, I've shown, like, my shoes. I have shown the women's closet before. Um several times we actually gave a whole house tour it's just people choose to look at what they want to look at and one thing about me is i don't really like to argue with people that have like negativity to say because there's nothing that you can show them that's going to like make them like believe they're always going to poke a hole in something you know right they're like at first it was this is an airbnb then it was oh grant cardone pays for this place then it's oh shanice pays for so they're always going to have something to say you know like, that's why right. i don't really try to like tease them too much right right yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I was just asking because, you know, a lot of people are like, why haven't they asked about, you know, if they really live there or not? So I just wanted to ask that question. Um, my next question is, I know people have asked you to show your revenue. Um, and I know that's kind of like a, it starts this like argument, I guess I would say, when you like people ask you to show your revenue and then like you'll show money spent. And then it will be like, you'll say, well, how can I spend it if I don't have it? which I kind of feel like was like a sort of comment, type of comment, I guess. So Olivia, I know you have your own business as well. Do you have any revenue to show for it? I do. And so like, you don't feel like, so let me get this straight. You guys feel like money spent can be faked, but revenue can't be faked. I feel like if anything, it's easier mm -hmm. to show revenue versus what somebody actually like spent. You disagree with I that? I think people just want to see the numbers, you know, that you guys talked about. But, but the thing is this, I've shown numbers. Like when the whole thing with Shonda happened, I literally showed my revenue in the last the, the last 48 hours or 24 hours or whatever, and it was at $48,000. Like I literally like showed that to her. But so do like, you have shown, like... I've shown, but, but I've shown revenue like so many times. Like I, I, I just personally feel like there's people want to believe what they want to believe. 
You know what right. I mean? Like th- there's nothing that you can show a hater that is going to prevent them from hating on you. Okay. Um, and then Shanice and Olivia, um, I have a question and it may be a little personal. I don't want to get too personal. Uh, does it bother? I know you guys are all for the poly and, but mm-hmm. does it bother you that your man, because like you guys have said, he's in individual relationships with each of, with each of you, you guys are not all together collectively. Um, does it bother y'all that, um, he sleeps with all of these, or he will be, sorry, excuse me, he will be sleeping with uh-huh. you and not just the wives, the girlfriends as well. Mm-hmm. As a female, so, does that bother you? To answer your question, no, it does not bother me because as we discussed before we even started this poly relationship, this is what I wanted, so. So you, you want to be with someone or you're okay with being with someone who doesn't just sleep with you, but sleeps with other people as well. Like there's a lot of just. Yeah. Regardless, his relationship with whomever does not affect his relationship with me. Physically though, it kind of does when it comes to having, you know, you know, sex with somebody. It does because that's energies sharing a lot of people you know a lot of females i know we really believe in energy sharing and you need to be careful who you sleep with and stuff like that because we're talking about the same time. girl that's on casamigos and cheetos diet huh? what did you we're say talking about, i said are we talking about the same girls that are on the casamigos and hot cheetos diet <laughs> what is the what is that I mean, I, I guess, like, yeah, like, like, Sean, you be funny. Like, I don't know what be going on, Sean, but you're a little, like, come back to be taking me out. <laughs> um, But I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of just like, you know, for example, if you get your seven wives, you know, all power to you, and one of them is in it for three, four years, and then she leave, are you going to replace her and then... That's just, do you guys not care about how many people he sleeps with? And that's for Olivia, too. Nope. Nope. No? Nope. And I know you guys also said you guys plan on having kids. Um, When you have daughters, if and when you have daughters, does that, you know, would you want your daughters to live by that as that, you know, that mentality as well? What do you what do you mean mentality? Like how you guys are saying, you know, Olivia, offer the poly, Olivia, it doesn't bother me. If you have a daughter and you you know what I'm saying, you're raising a young, you know, female out of this world and you both are, you know, colored women and you guys have a daughter out here and you want to raise a nice, you know, young, black, powerful woman, do you want her to, you know, just not really value her body in a way? Because that why to me, that's just I, not really valuing yourself. Why would I you know? not value my body if I'm with one man that I trust and that is not on low frequency? Like, <laughs> like what, what do you mean? Like, I'm not understanding. I mean, I was just, I was just asking, you know, as women, and I, I know everyone's like, color, I mean, like, you guys are black women and, and you guys will, you know, if you end up having... Even for a man, if you guys have, you know, sons, would you want your kids to just, you know, not really care about who their partner sleeps with? It's not that, it's not that we don't care. He'll be transparent with it. And we know that and we trust that. It's not like, I think you guys like mistaken it like, oh, he's just going to go ahead and like mess with the random girl that he sees across the street that's like super fine. It has a big not life. random, like, but you don't know that girl. You don't know that woman we from nowhere. We know every single girl coming in here, and the thing is, it will pretty much be a closed loop. Because I don't know, from what I understand from him, is that the women won't be messing with other guys. Right, but, I mean, are you all going to go, like, get tested before he starts to sleep with other women on top of the two he's already sleeping with? Because he already said that yeah, you know, I, I, I would. I'm not gonna mess up my royal family. So before I touch any woman, like I was, yeah, we get tested. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That makes sense. And then um, as the family will grow, as my family grows, obviously I would like the test would be a lot more regular because more people, more variables. So. 
Yes, precautions will be taken. Okay. Um, and then Shanice, um, yesterday when yes. Olivia has said she checks mm -hmm. you, you made a face. What was yeah. Yes. Face when she mm -hmm. said that. You looked you gave that bombastic face. <laughs> I feel like she's just the face. Okay, I, Shanice, I be hearing you when you say you got arrested, bitch face. No, when Olivia said I checked Shanice, you mm -hmm. looked and was like, like, girl, you do not check me. Like, you did make a face. Like, your eyes got wide when she said that. So, are you asking me why I made a face? Or are yes. you asking Olivia? Oh, are you asking Olivia how she checks me? No, no, no. I'm asking you. Does does okay? Does Olivia check you? Uh, not that I've seen. Has she like because what I get what Olivia was saying? She was saying you guys all check each other. I, Olivia, I get what you were saying. You were saying you all check each other, but the first thing you said was I check Shanice. You didn't say I check Sean. You said I check Shanice. So Shanice made a face, and I was just seeing Shanice if she really be checking you because that's what she said. By check, I mean like, are we operating in a way that's effective and positive? I have basically said that like I don't really like the way that. This is being spoken to me. Okay. That is a check. In my opinion, that is a check. Right. In my opinion, that's a check. I don't like the way that this is happening. How can we go right. ahead and fix it? How can we have an effective Okay, so you mean like you all will, you know, y'all don't have a problem with coming to one another about an issue you have. No, that's what I mean by a check. It's not necessarily bad. I'm just saying that like, how can we go ahead and change things so that we can have a more effective conversation? And it's not something that's like we're fighting against each other or we're being against each other. Instead, we are actually working towards. I know Shanice sipping over there, so yeah. you don't gotta oh. say too much, Shanice. But I, I see you sipping that water over there. Um, and then I just want to say, you know, y'all are both very beautiful women. Olivia, me and you are actually the same age. I just turned twenty in March. Um, so I was just saying, you know, me and you are the same age, and I just mm -hmm. did want to ask. And then also, I did want to ask. You guys have all three of you was always your ideal relationship being poly. Like before y'all even met Sean and Sean before you met these two lovely women, was it always poly? Like was that always what y'all were like ideal? That's what you guys wanted from jump? Or did someone else give you some insight and then it made you wanna do poly? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question for Basically, me? was it your idea or did, like, did I talk you into it? Have you guys always wanted to do poly? Um, like, it, it was initially, it was initially my love's idea, um, and I was all for it. Okay, Olivia, you too, from the get-go, because like I said, me and you the same age. I have a man, um, and it has never crossed my mind to, you know, it's never just, I mean, I'm not shooting it down. It's just never... I can't, I'm just not okay with it. Um, has it always been for you since you were, you know, old enough to date and stuff like that? Have you always, was poly just ideal? Like when you got out of high school, so were you like, I'm looking for a poly relationship? No, it wasn't. So what, what changed I didn't know, that? I didn't even know what poly was. So what changed that, um, you know, idea for you? I mean, Honestly, you don't know what you don't know. I was just ignorant about the situation. So when I found out what it actually was and the benefits of it, but also how it would it's aligned with what I want to create for my future, I was like, yeah, right. this is something that I, I'm going to do, right? And Sean, for you, have you always you know, been a man who wanted to be the center of a poly relationship? No, 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 no. I mean, obviously, you know, um, like threesomes and things like that. But as far as a poly relationship, no. But uh, I just got, for me, what drove me to it, I just got tired of getting great women and messing it up. I got tired of messing up relationships. But what about Shanice? You wasn't messing got, it up then, right? That was a big part of it, right? I got tired of messing up relationships. I got tired of having great women around me and just doing the situationships and dare to commit. And yeah, it was just a lot. So I was just like, man, I, I value family. I really value family. And, I discovered polygyny and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I was able to, you know, create a family. It looks right. a little different. Yeah. I mean, all power to y'all. I do have a question. 
Um, when you get your seven wives, well, they all have, well, all the ladies have access to everything. Every single person will have access. All the queens will definitely have access to, like, the bank account, for sure. So what happens if one of them run off with the bread? Well, the thing is this. We don't, like, I know people think you should save money, but you really should not save money. You want, you don't want a lot of cash in the bank. You want cash flow. So right. our strategy, Keep coming everybody, in. Right. Strategies, but for us, our strategy, get a bunch of cash, go dump it into a business, go dump it into some real estate, go dump it into something that's going to cut us a little check every month. So we don't care about having a lot of cash. We want a lot of cash flow. Nobody can take your cash flow. Okay. So let right? me not say run off. Let me not say run off. What if she do something that, fuck, excuse my language, fuck everybody. Like she do something. Like what? <laughs> Like, like, as in she do something that's detrimental to everybody business assets. Like she, give me, give me, you gotta give me something. an example. You gotta give me an example. Like, let's say you have a one of your queens, and she, you know, everything's going smooth, and she has this. She caught, you know, she got this master plan cooking up, and she went out, and she want to make sure. Let's just say you rubbed her the wrong way, Sean, and she just want to get back at you or get back at the other queens. And she, you know, do whatever, or because she's got her hand and everything like everybody else do, she do yeah, whatever and mess up with y'all have going on. You, that's just something that I would have to like deal with. Um, it, it just comes with the territory. So uh, overcoming adversity is a, a part of life. So right, and then okay, I don't, I don't, and then I think I just if I, if I literally thought about what could go wrong with different things and what happens if I fail with that business, then I wouldn't be here today. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it to you like this. And this is a very big key to life. This is going to take me like 30 seconds, so be patient and stay with me. When you open up a door, when you go and open up a door, what do you do? You just walk up to a door and you open it and you walk through it, correct? Mm -hmm. You don't sit up here and think, man, what if the door is locked? What if the, what if the, what if the door I get electrocuted when I when I when I touch the door? What if I get zapped? right? You don't think you what just if, walk through it, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. What if it's cold? What if the handle's hot? Right? You walk through the door, and if the door didn't open, you would look at it like it's crazy. Like, what's wrong with this door? What's wrong with this door? <laughs> but for some reason, when somebody's like, "Oh, I want to be an entrepreneur," or "I want to be a millionaire," you know what they say? Instead of just walking through with full intention and opening the door and going through, oh man, what if it don't work? What if this? What, what if I go bankrupt? What if uh, it fails? What if I, I, it's a risk? You guys got to learn to operate with full intention. Mm -hmm. And the thing, the reason why people are so, I rub people the wrong way is because they not, they're not used to people operating with full intention, right? So when I say right. I'm going to do something, I do it. I don't think about counterintentions. I don't think about what can go wrong. That's not the word. Right. That but the reason why I ask. There's no buts. There's no buts. I, I don't have counter intention in my life. I have full intention. Okay, with everything. So, okay. So the reason why I had asked that was because I know you had an ex-wife. It's been heard, you know, through the grapevine that she had taken. That's kind of the reason why you were homeless. She had taken your car, or your money, or whatever the case may be. After Bro, you guys see, listen, man, this is you guys hear all the type of conspiracy. Every I'm gonna just put this out. Every single woman that's ever been in my life was a blessing, and I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay, All that's right? kudos for I, you taking accountability. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make this perfectly clear. Every single woman that's been in my life was a blessing, and mm -hmm. I messed it up. I personally do not feel like there's bad women on this planet. Like, I think 99% of women on this planet are amazing women, and if there's things that happen in a relationship, it's because a guy like leadership. I had plenty of crazy things happen in relationships, and that was on me because I lacked the leadership skills to bring the best out of them. So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't want to hear them rumors. They just be like saying all type of crazy stuff. You don't want to so, hear the rumors I'm not as too far as. To talk too much about, no. I'm not too big to talking too much about the past, but I just want to make that perfectly clear. Every woman that's ever been in my life was a blessing and I messed it up. Okay. okay. And I, I so you're saying failure. you don't, right. So you're saying, that's fine. You're saying you don't want to hear about, you know, your brother or your ex-girlfriend. That's no, I don't, don't want to hear about my supposed brother i haven't talked to him in 10 years that don't make sense people just people just say stuff you know they have limited information people are going to say all type of stuff when you when you start to become successful you know what happens people in your past people friends family whoever you grew up with 
They see you going to heights. They see you doing great things, and they be like, they want to pull you down. That's all that it is. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, strangers will support you more than your 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 family, and sometimes your so called friends are. It is what it is. Like, I don't I don't pay that no mind. At the end of the day, I focus on my future. I don't focus on my past. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did have like one or two more, and then I'm gonna get off. Um, no, I, I think start... that's a. Is it is it about stuff that's like current? I don't really want to. No, it's not. It's nothing. I'm gonna be honest about... with you. Like when you hold on, hold on. When you hit us up on Instagram, I thought it's you nothing about, about your brother oh, or. Hold on. When you hit us up on Instagram, I thought you would be a lot more positive, and it, it's cool. Ask like whatever you. Want. My thing is just like I wish that people focus more so on making their dreams happen rather than focusing on drama. Like we was can I focus negative? on negative, but but how is that gonna improve your life? Right, Sean. But was I negative? Nothing you said up here today was positive at all. You didn't ask us, hey, how can I? How can me and my man start a business together? Hey, what can I do to oh, make sure? Oh, I, I mean, because you know, hey, how can more- I get some? Hey, how can I get some? You know, insurance for my family. You didn't say anything that's like positive. Because it's I can look into that. Me and him can look into that. You know, ourselves. Right. Well, since it I seems mean, like you got everything figured out, what's your last question? I, come on, baby. Get up. You didn't have I gotta, to. I mean, you didn't hey. have to be rude. You don't have to. I'm be not. Rude. We're not being rude. It's just like you just come up here and you want to talk about drama. It's cool. But I like, wasn't I, talking about drama. Look, I was asking right. Olivia and Shanice questions. You're, you're right. This super, so these this questions. is a super productive conversation. What's your last question? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I was going to see the last thing I was going to say was, you know, going to be extremely positive. But since, you know, I'm not going to be negative since you were claiming I was going to be negative. Um, as far as Olivia and Shanice, um, I know, Olivia, that um, you are younger, but it does seem as though, you know, since Shanice was with Sean first, it seems as though he's trying to do the whole um out with the old and with the new, sort of. And I'm not saying you're old at all, Shanice. You're very beautiful. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying it seems as though, you know, you are older, you are wiser. You have been with him longer, know him probably way more than Olivia. That's just factual. Um, Olivia just seems so, like people have said, she seems very eager, like a cheerleader. She definitely gives off very energetic, like she wants to be, um, you know, like she'll, she'll, she's willing to do whatever. So, you know, stand by him. And it just seems as though Sean is interested in Olivia, not just because she's young, but because, you know, she's younger. She's willing to do whatever. And you can see it in her mannerisms. So this is a question for Olivia and Shanice. Do you feel as though not he's trying to replace you, but at the end of the day, you both being the females in his life, it's not like he loves you both equally. Do you feel as though he loves you both equally? On the same. Yes, we do. We I, do. I, I do feel as though uh, he loves us like both equally, and like he's also very fair. So in regards to like me thinking I, I, Olivia is a replacement. No, that's not my thought process whatsoever. Um, but in regards to me, let's just say in a hypothetical situation, if I were to leave like someone else would be here and there would be another woman and there would be another woman. If he plans on having seven queens, he's gonna have seven queens regardless. So That's if you're so if you're not around, you know, it's just he's just gonna fill that that spot up. He's gonna have seven queens regardless. Okay. I mean, yeah, if, if you're saying he's gonna he's gonna have I mean, but how so if he loves you guys equally, he was dating you beforehand. So how does it make you feel mm-hmm. that he loves you and he loves you the same as Olivia? But he mm-hmm. was with you well, prior to Olivia. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so I understand where you're coming from, but I feel as though that question is based on how you would feel in this position. I we discussed this, and the fact that I was on board for this means that I understand like the concept. Does that make sense? So since I signed up for this, this is what I was looking for. This is like so when the next queen comes. This is something that I would celebrate. Any any queen of any age, Sean? What? Any queen of any age. I feel like your energy is very um you said I'm being negative. Your energy is giving very off like you have an attitude. Listen, what is this? What's what is this? 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 A legal age, so 18 and, and up, it doesn't bother you that you're 30 and would be interested in an 18-year-old? 
Who said she had to be 18? You said everybody does. Any woman of legal age is a potential third queen, man. Like, what do you want me to say to that? Yeah. No, I just, it's not about the age, it's about the emotional maturity and it's about. Right. The, the Did I emotional. rub you the wrong way? Did I rub you the wrong way? No, no, no. no. Honestly, 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 I'm, I am a little disappointed. Like, I thought you were actually, like, it would be a more. Well, I did thing. have, I mean, I did, I was going to, you know, I feel like you guys are, you know, this is y'all hustle and I feel like you guys are playing it smart by going live every single night and making sure that you guys get the likes and the share. So this is, and even though you say you don't get no money from TikTok, there would be a reason as to why you want the likes and the shares. So even if about, you guys I, weren't I, known I, beforehand, you actually, guys are definitely known now. We actually want to like help people, which you're going to see tonight. We want to help a bunch of people. We've been thinking of some big ways that we can like help Right, people. but this That's is what y'all are writing on though, the polygamy alive no, no. wave. Yeah. Cause it's yeah. getting you. I mean, look, it's thirty. It's getting you guys the view. So this is what you guys are. This, you know, I know you guys say business, this business, that, but this is what is getting you guys the views and the likes and keeping you guys relevant. That's why it says, young professional woman, would you be in a poly relationship? It's not the business, or because I mean, multiple people have said that, and you haven't changed the backdrop. You've kept that up. You get. So let me get this straight. I'm supposed to live my life taking advice. Uh, but you want people to take advice from you, though. I don't want people to do anything. I mean, if you don't want free information from a Forbes published entrepreneur on how to make more money, then sure, okay. Like, I don't know. But what you were kind of upset that I didn't ask you for advice, you know? And it was like, no, I'm, oh. just dis I'm just disappointed. Like, I just know that people can actually get up here and like they have legitimate questions about their business. They want to take all the this, my take questions were legitimate, and my questions were I'm, legitimate. And then Olivia, you also do this thing where you chime in a lot. Like you, Ch uh, Shanice doesn't do that. Shanice chimes in when you know she's addressed yeah. and when someone asks. Yeah. Her, like, well, I actually like that the fact that Olivia has my back. So I like when she speaks up. But for Olivia me does I got a lot of that. And back, any like, of my in the back, like I'm riding with, we're supposed game. to be riding together. So I like the fact that Olivia talks. Even when she, you know, she <laughs> gets slick at her too. mouth. So she feels like it. Even when what? she, you know, will laugh at people and get slick at her mouth, and you know, see, when you guys talking, just again, you guys see what you want to see. Like you guys, like everybody's so sensitive. I mean, you hear her now. Listen, do you have another question? Yeah, I was asking why Olivia gets slick at her mouth. How about this? What's what's do you have a business? No, I don't have a business. All right. Well, we appreciate you. Where can the people follow you? You can follow me on my Instagram at Kaylani Grace. You can follow me on my TikTok. Yeah. And, and my advice to you, man, you, you're a young girl. You're a beautiful girl. Me and you Olivia are the same age. Mm -hmm. you, got a, you got a lot of potential, okay? Set, tell somebody you're young is not an insult. It's a compliment, especially to women. So with that being said, like, I wish you would focus more your energy on how to create a legacy for, like, your family and how to help your community. I'm not worried about having a family. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about having no kids right now. All right. So with that being said, with that being said, um, let's bring somebody. That's disappointing, man. She oh, my so gosh. Crazy. I was so not expecting that. I know. I wasn't either, man. I hope she starts a business. I hope her and her man go on to do great things. But, you know, we welcome those type of people, too. I was just surprised. Me, too. That's all. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. Um, pretty busy for the rest of this month, but for sure we're going to have to do some stuff. Man. Great to connect. Got some funny names. Not bringing. A little Olivia, make sure you be careful with this neck in the ear when you up there. Oh. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. That first person, they get that first person. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. Okay, we got the groom's family. So it's a family. I look like Kermit. 
Yeah. Kind of the frog. How? You're not wearing green. Just my, just the hell of it. <laughs> Hello, the groom's family? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Can how you, you doing? Can you turn your camera on, please? Good. Can you turn your camera on? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I just sent a request. Is it on? No. Send it again because I don't know how to do it. Oh, send it again. Oh, well, I feel like it's only been sent once. So you press the three dots and then click like a camera or like camera on. And then you got to hit save. Yeah. You gotta hit save. After you hit the camera, you got to hit save. Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about now? Can y'all see me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make my voice deep. <laughs> what up, man? What's, What's your name and where you from, bro? My name is Chris. I'm from Chicago. Uh-oh, Chirac. What part? Yeah. What part? I'm from, I'm from Chicago. What, I know, but what part? I'm from Chicago, from the south side, oh, east side. Huh? From like the south side. You're not with the drill music, all that BDK, GDK stuff, right? Do it look like it? No, I don't know, bro. I lived in Chicago for two years, man. It was crazy. My house got broken into three times. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's wild. Chicago's, that's Chicago's a different type of wild, man. I'm from St. Louis, and I thought, like, oh, like, I thought I knew how to, like, navigate those, like, places, bro. But, like, Chicago's different, bro. Just different. Yeah, Chicago stand up. All right, so, look, um... I got a couple questions. I'm a married man. Um, I'm a businessman myself. I'm a, I, I'm very successful. As you can wait, say. you said you're a what? I'm a married man. I'm a businessman. Yeah. Very very successful. No no no. Wait, I can't hear you. That second one started with a B. You said you're a, a what man? A businessman. Oh no, I think you mispronouncing it, bro. It's a business. A businessman. <laughs> a businessman. Hey, <laughs> ha, 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 however you wanna, however you wanna. A businessman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, my, my thing is, so look, I, I got a couple questions, you know what I'm saying? I, I watch y'all here and there, y'all pop up on my For You page, you know what I'm saying? I don't be on the live that much because I got too much going on in my life as a business man. Um, there we but go. My, my thing, I got a question for the two ladies real quick, though. Um, so y'all polygamy thing, I ain't got nothing against nobody, what y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Everybody do what y'all do. But my question is, actually, you know, it might be for you, Sean. So what if your two ladies said, hey, Real quick, can we bring a couple guys in with us to be our kings? You said, what if they did that? Yeah, is it okay for them to have more kings as well? Nah, they can so, do whatever they want to do, but if they wanted another man, then like, uh, so you basically, we would, no, we would no longer be in a relationship. So it's double standards, basically. Yes, one thousand percent. Just like when we want a baby, I'm not the one that's gonna get pregnant. Double standard. Just like when girls go to the club and they get in for free. Double standard. Yeah, for sure. I guess. Um, so another question. What qualifies you to be a uh, success coach? Like, what do you what do? What, 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 what are your um, credentials? Because, like, I know you keep telling people you're in the Forbes and all of that and all of this. But, you know what I'm saying, you can also pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So did you pay for this? Like, cause I'm just I'm trying to get to understanding, like, why do you consider yourself a, 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 a success coach? Why do I consider myself to be a success coach? Let's see, I'm a Grant Cardone certified 10X coach. I'm a Grant Cardone licensee. You can pay this for that guy. too. You know, oh, I know no, who Grant Cardone, Cardone is. is. This guy, I know him personally. This guy, this guy, this guy is a billionaire. Um, I would say I make more money than like the average person, um, a lot, substantially more money than the average person. I would say that my family life is on point. I would say that I have good physical health. I, I would say I have good mental health. So I think mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially, I've achieved things that 99% of the world won't do. Does that make me better than anybody? No. I feel like I'm just a little bit further along in my journey. And what's the point of making it if you're not going to give back? Reach one, teach one, right? Ain't that what the saying is? So I feel like I have yeah, but you, Wait, wait, wait. Like, so like, you, say, like you say your life's together, but you don't got a passport. You, you, okay. you make six figures, but Why you don't do got a passport. success? 
What does that have to do with success is my question. But how would you be successful if you can't even travel nowhere? See, I'm a, I'm, I'm a businessman. So okay, I, man, have, you I have real estate. I'm a real estate investor, so I have properties all over the place. So if I'm if I'm a real businessman and I can't go nowhere, how am I going to run a business? Because that's just not making sense to me. You say you get all your life well, together. If all your life is straight. together, let you me, have a passport. I'm just be honest with you. Let that's get, the simplest thing straight. you should have. At, at, the, at the age of 18, that's the first thing you yeah. should apply for is a passport. My dude, okay. a businessman, a real business. You think great... Uh, Bro, let me calm down because you really pissing me off because you make no sense. So you think Grant Cardone doesn't have a passport? What does that what have, does to do? have to do? With but does he so, have a passport? I'm pretty sure he does. I guarantee you before he even thought about hopping on live and wasting his time on live, getting a passport was more important because being okay. on live is not important. You're, you're a right, passport you're is right, because if Grant Cardone said right now, hey, Sean, right, let's fly out. Hey, let's fly out to Dubai real quick. Can you go? Yeah, so the thing about that can you is, go? If I, but can you go? You if I told yeah, you right you now, hey, bro, pack question, your bro. bag. I got the jet waiting. Let's go to Dubai. Can you go with me? Let me know when it's my no, turn to talk. Let me, let me know when it's my turn to talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got the flow, my guy. Are you, you, sure, you sure it's my turn? You got the flow, my dude. All right. So if that's the case, I needed to go to Dubai. You can buy a ticket, and it would actually expedite the passport process for you. So, yes, I would be able to go. If that was my priority, yes, I would be able to. But it's not your priority because you ain't got it. But anyway, so we, we, we'll we leave you there in San Diego. Cause that's I, where you I ain't at. got what? So we'll we just leave you there in San, Diego, in San Diego, wherever you at, because that's where your main income is anyway. So, but my whole thing is, so you're telling people also, like, they need to go to school to have a business degree, right? Or they need to go to school to be what? successful in business. When that's that, the opposite hold on, of what we said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When did I say that? I was on a live and I heard you say something like that. No, I actually, I'm, I'm not really like a big college person. It was it was somebody you said something to. She was, I, I can't, because I don't be paying attention like that. But the young right, lady, you're not talking about attention. something. And let's, you told her she needed to agree. If we're going to speak on things that are like accurate, let's not speak on it because it's just misinformation. I never well, said Well, no, that. it's it's accurate. I just don't remember it's what you're talking about or when it was. So it's completely it's accurate. accurate. You get what I'm saying? You told the young lady that she needed to agree. Which to me, it doesn't make sense. You don't need a degree to, to run a business. You just don't. I know, because I don't have a degree. So what are you talking about? I don't either. Olivia, sweetheart, the puppet. Yo, Ain't nobody talk no. to you. Hey, hold on, man. She can, listen, bro. She can talk <laughs> Ain't to nobody even you. talking to you, shorty. Because only okay. time you know how to talk <laughs> is when your man <laughs> talking. Yo, so bro, back to everything respect, else. Listen, so, listen. So, so my whole thing is, I got another question. So if you want to cut me off. No, 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 no. I'm not going to cut you off. Oh, okay, I thought, so, I thought you were hold on, bro. Real, real quick, real quick, real quick. You're on my queen's platform. I don't care. Have respect, but, you, ha have but you're on a public have platform. Have, re have respect you're on for a her, bro. Public platform. Ha okay, but have respect for her. Like if we I can't talk to what her, if we her? can't talk to each other with respect, what did I disrespect her? I call her your puppet master, your puppet, right? All right, bro. That's what she is. So peep game, bro. We either gonna talk to each other with respect, or we are gonna not talk at all. You choose, bro. Don't mute my mic. Yeah, I'm a grown I, I, ass I man. I muted your mic. Don't, I muted your mic. Don't I'm mute my mic. I muted your I'm mic. I'm a grown I muted ass your mic. man. So, like right, I was bro. saying, you can either drop me. So, we either gonna talk to each other with respect or not at all. Bro, you can I can unmute my mic. You can Are you a clown? You can I can pick. unmute my mic. You're bro, the biggest okay. clown that I know. You, all right, so all right, you ready for the rest of your business questions? <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> Yeah, change the screen. This man does not know that he's like talking to nobody right now. All right, let's unmute this mic. So, how do you Yo. feel like you can nourish seven women? How do mentally, I feel like I can physically, do it? Physically, financially. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. How hold do you on. This think a great, you can do that? Listen, 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 bro. This is a great question. So, with this being said. So, answer it. You okay, got to listen, okay. you gotta listen, bro. Give us a so, with this being said, why you up here, bro? Respect my queens. So, like I said, how can you All right, did you hear what I just said, bro? With all due respect. With all due respect, did you hear what I just said? Bro, what? you either so going to answer my question, what I'm saying? or you're not going to answer my question. It's just that. No. You so you saying? just so, so you just up here just wilding, right? How, how am I wilding? I'm asking you a question. Because I'm saying I'm 
Okay, so, so, you so let me get this straight. Let me get the let me let me get this straight. I'm telling you, man. I already, man, asked, I already have asked a respectful questions, conversation. So you, I'm gonna let you finish, and you just answer the question that I asked. All right. Perfect. So while we up here, let's respect the ladies. Is that too much to ask for? Did I call somebody out their name? No, but you're just trying to tell her not to talk. And you did call her out her name. You called her. I told her. I said, "Young lady, like I'm not talking to you." His okay. Puppy. But she. But she wanted. But to I wasn't in, talking bro. to her. But when she I wanted talk, to chime in. Ready to talk to her, then that's when she can speak. But she wanted but that's to how chime you in. How much no, you have respect when you treat them with respect? Okay. You, you get what I'm saying? No, I don't get. You, what you ever heard that's that? That's your saying? opinion. How are if you? If I didn't treat them with respect, how, how we wouldn't be having this conversation. Give respect bro. when it's not. How do you expect somebody to give your queen respect when you don't respect them? Do you get what I'm saying? I You're right. plenty of times. Yeah, bro. That's literally not even so are you gonna answer my question though? So how do you feel bro. like you can nurse so let me get seven yeah, women as soon as we get as financially, as we get some physically, and emotionally? Are you what you still what you steady coming up with like stuff to say back to me so you can think about your answer or something? No, I, I do that. Come on, bro. This is easy work, man. You're you're up here talking. I can't about tell because you still answer that the question. I, that I, that I said. <laughs> Debating you is easy work. Oh, uh, okay. The I only thing you, you said about life. try it in person, not you, behind the you camera. You say what? So let's do it. You, you say what? I really would love for you to debate me, not behind the camera, in real life. Did you hear me now? Do, like, what, what would be the difference? What would game? be the difference? What would be the difference? So the word difference is, <clears throat> you will be forced to answer the question because you're in front of my face, not behind the camera. Do you All right, what man. What, what, what's your what's your what, what's your question, bro? I've been asking you the question thirty times, and you know what the question is. You're just trying to think of your answer. You get what I'm saying? You got it so, all figured again, out. I tell people for the to go to college. Time, how do you feel like you can nourish seven women physically, mentally, mo I'm sorry, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially? How do tell me how you yourself can take care of these seven women? The same way I take care of two. But that's not answering my question. How is that answering your question? So how are you taking care of two? By communicating with them, seeing what they actually need, giving them what they need. But what I just said is, how are you going to take care of seven women emotionally? So I need, I need the breakdown. I don't need a, oh, because that's what I'm doing now. I need a breakdown. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't understand the question. What do you mean like a breakdown? You mean how am I going to How are you going to do it? Oh, well, okay. So I know on this day, I make sure that I'm going to do this for my seven women. Oh, if my seven women or one of my women feel like this out of my seven women, I'm going to make sure she feels like this. I'm going to do this to make her feel comfortable. I'm going to do this, this, this. Like, yeah. come on. This, like, bro, yeah. are you yeah. a business yeah. man? So, you should so Come on, dog. Yeah, so I didn't understand what your, your question was. So with that being said, for me, I feel like it's all about communication. And I mean, obviously, I'm going to be seeing them, interacting with them. Just because I have seven women doesn't mean I have to see them only one day a week. Like, why can't we all be up under the same roof for being the same building? Nobody said that. But how are you going to make all seven women feel equally loved, feel comfortable, feel secure, <laughs> feel like oh i'm straight H how are you gonna yeah. do that well here's the thing Comparison and then, is how are you gonna hey, listen, sit up here and take care question. of seven women me, and then possibly seven kids too you get what i'm saying me, so how would you make the whole 16 people feel loved is it my turn i'm asking you a question yeah it's your turn so tell me how right, are you let me finish real quick so how are you going to be able to take care of seven women and they seven kids so go ahead. Just, just it's your know. time. Go ahead. Seven women, seven kids. How are you going to do it? It's my turn? Seven kids, seven women. How are you going to do it? All right. I just want to make sure it's my turn. Okay. So. You're a clown. No, I'm not a clown. No, you're you're being a clown right now. You're just saying stuff that's not even real. So with that being said, with that being said, Comparison is the thief of all joy. These are seven individual relationships. And how would I have a successful relationship? It's the same as having one. You talk to your partner, you communicate with their needs, and you give them what they need and want. That's it. Where there is commitment, creativity will follow. It's just the same way you sit up here and tell me you want to become a billionaire. And then I tell you, you can't do that. How are you going to become a billionaire? You'd be like, bro, I will just do it.
this is the goal. This Wait. is the target. I will figure it out. Are you talking about, you, you talking high, hypothetically, okay. I'm like, I ain't never. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. If you told me right now, hey, I want to become a billionaire in the next 10 years. I said, but I'm going to tell you how, how you're going to do that. I'm going to tell you matter. how I'm going to do it. Like, hey, I'm going to put myself on the schedule. I make sure I'm going to go to work at my business 24-7. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Not just, a, oh, well, the same way I'm a millionaire now is the same way I'm going to become a billionaire. That, that That's not telling me shit. You feel me? That's good, man. How long you been an entrepreneur? You said what? How long you been an entrepreneur? Roughly 10 years. 10 years? Yes. That's awesome, man. Have Absolutely. A Got a ten thousand square foot home. What do you what do you, what do you focus on? Like, what do you what? what, what I'm a real estate say, developer. What? Right, baby. I'm not. We're not talking about that. We talking about that poly couple. You said what? <laughs> you said what? I ain't hear what you said. You said what I do said, I do I said, for a living? What do you what do you what do you what do you, what do you focus on? You do, you buy apartment buildings or what? I buy commercial properties. Yes. That's awesome, man. I love and I buy. That. We want to get real, we want to get in real estate as well, man. I'm sorry. I said we're gonna we want to get in real estate as well. That's something you should have been in, man. Real estate is the, mm -hmm. the easiest business to get into. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like hey, if your girl, one of them do credit, right? Who do credit? One of y'all do credit, right? Yeah. She do so credit. The, the, so the, you should have been head of house when you first met her. You should have been head flipping properties when you first met her. Because that's the easiest way to make money. Mm. It's real estate. Yeah. Easy I, I guess, for me instead of sitting on live all night. For me, you get what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be honest with me, you, bro. I, hey, I'm my wife is a full time content creator, so I know how the game work, bro. So y'all getting paid for these lives and all y'all videos. And we everything. haven't got paid yeah. a single. Piece. You get what I'm saying? So if you look at my page, we got almost three hundred thousand followers. You know what I'm saying? So we know yeah. how it go. You know, so we, we don't be on live because we got real businesses to handle. Huh? Take a real quick. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. Because if you had a, if, if she would have put you on to the real estate, we wouldn't be on live talking to you right now, gang. But hey, it's good money on here too. But try YouTube though. YouTube pay good on their live. I don't think TikTok. Yeah. Does. I don't. But but that, but this isn't our. This isn't a source of income for us. Um, uh, okay. So, right. You know, yeah, okay. You know, uh, you're in real estate. That, you know, say Grant that, say that for right? somebody else, bro. Come on, come on. Hold on. You know, Grant. You, you hey, know Grant you can't right? finesse a finesse, gang. Oh, so you're a finesser. Everything in this world is a finesse. Are you kidding me? Interesting. All right. Everything so in this world is a finesse. Said, you know that, bro. So stop playing. No, I disagree with that. So with that oh being said. Oh, my God. Okay, bro. With that being said, with that being said, um, you know Grant Cardone, right? Absolutely. So he's a big mentor of mine. And like his, uh, his You know Richard Hart? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. His invest. His but wait, do you know Richard Hart? Hold on. Invest in yourself. Invest in your business. And then invest in real estate. So you must have bought one of that man's books because you be riding him heavy, boy. <laughs> like, personal, you must well, why wouldn't you want to listen to somebody that's worth eight billion dollars? So you our, said what? Goal, you said that's goal, worth how much? Wait, wait, wait. wait Grant Cardone's worth eight billion dollars. So with that being said, our goal is to scale our business to a million a month. Once we're making a million dollars a month, then start investing in real estate. Right, right now we're not making a million a month. Ooh, Jesus, you got it backwards, bro. No, but hey, I'm gonna let backwards. you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. You should probably come to Chicago and let me educate you on this because you, if you rocking with me, you would have been oh, made. Man, a, you would have been wanna, made millions. You said what? I don't want to. I, I I don't want to. Like, do listen, man. If it's not on the coast, I can't do it. Chicago's too cold for me. No, I'm not telling you to come live with me or do nothing like that. But let me come school you and show you the game. I'm living in ten thousand mm -hmm. square foot home, my guy. That's good. You know what man. I'm saying? With theaters, workout rooms, elevators, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All off of real estate. I don't need to make millions of dollars first to go into real estate. So I, yeah. what I did was I started small in real estate and went big in real estate and started doing commercial. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yep. I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say this, bro. Cause you talk you, to a real that, businessman right here. Like, yeah, look at my house, my dude. You've been in the game. You've been in the game. You see my house? Bro, this is my main the, level. So this is a real business. You've been in right the game here. ten years, man. Congrats on everything you've done. That's awesome, bro. We need more leaders like that. You guys gotta realize. How long you been in the game? Was, hold on. Three years ago, I was sleeping in my car, bro. Like three years ago, I was sleeping in my car. So I went from sleeping in my car 
to hear right now. I'm about to wrap up a huge deal at the in May, a huge deal in May. Something I'm, I've been keeping under wraps. Um, but for okay, me, well let me I tell you rather, this: I to rather, be just I to be rather, just homeless rather, three years ago, my guy, you need to be a little bit more humble. I'm gonna just be honest with you. You, so need to, me, you need to put your so tail between your ass a little bit more and hold stop on, being bro, so. Hold on. Ain't nothing wrong with being confident. Nothing at all wrong with being confident. But the way you get down, my dude, you really yeah. need to, to to slow down. No, I don't. No, no I don't. I bro, don't you, slow down. you hack no, yourself up too much to, to make you look like you are nobody. I'm gonna just be you honest. Say what? That's why 95 percent of the people that join your life they talk shit. Because you hyping yourself yeah. up too much. You get what I'm saying? No. So like, no, like if, I, if I'm on live right now, ain't nobody finna yeah. hype me up. I mean, ain't nobody gonna look at me like, oh my God, he's a clown. Because I don't hype myself up to this level. And okay. then also kind of like backtrack on the same stuff I be saying too. Uh, I don't backtrack on anything. So with that being said, I'm not gonna stop hyping myself up. I will say it, and I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to be one of the most famous and powerful billionaires on this planet. And congratulations to your year 10 and all the success that you've done. I'm pretty sure it's a struggle and a grind. But it's going to be, I can't wait to see where I'm at in year 10, bro. That's all I'm going to say. For me, I don't want to do small deals in real estate. I want to do big deals in real estate. And instead of buying a $1 or $2 million building, I'd rather buy a $15 or $20 million building. And that'd be my first deal or a $30 million building. And once the business is making a million dollars a month, I can do much bigger deals. So, so you, from, so you're trying to tell me. Estate, so you're trying to know. tell me you're just gonna go into real estate, not knowing shit about it, and go buy your twenty million dollar building and get fucked oh, over, right? Okay. Anytime I, anytime I, anytime I, anytime I do something new, and this is a good point because people can learn from this. Anytime I, you do gotta something do new, something. Okay, look, you ha if you no, want to catch up the news, you actually gotta get your I feet wet. So if I tell, if your girl tell me right now, hey Chris, let's go do credit. Oh, okay, cool. I can YouTube it, Google it. I can talk to her all motherfucking day and talk to you and Shanice however the fucking go down. But I'm not going to know how to do it until I actually do it myself. So, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a type I'm of a, learner I'm where I got to get my feet wet. It ain't no like, visual, ain't no talking, all that book crap. Like, ain't no yeah. Grant Cardone no, 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 going to make me do nothing. I got to do it myself first. I, I, I disagree. That's where mentorship is critical because the, the beauty about a mentor... You're going to have a mentor, but... Dude, okay... Are you, bro, you're slow. So, are you no, kidding me? So, yeah, you became bit, my mentor, and you said, hey, whatever whatever you do for a living, which I don't know, I don't care, but whatever you do for a living, you mentor me on it. Do you think I'm going to run with every fucking thing you say? No. You need to figure it out on your own first. Do your research. That's why it's called D-Y-O-R. Do D -D. your own research yeah. before you yeah. hop out on a limb yeah. and try to follow another person. Yeah. So, my question to you is... Because what worked for me you ain't going to work for you, and what worked for you ain't going to work for bro. me. You're right, bro. Did you uh did you you fought a like growing up? Did you do boxing or martial arts? You said what? Did did you fight a like growing up? Did you do boxing or martial arts? No, I played a lot of sports. Uh so my question to you is like when your coach was telling you something, did you listen to your coach or did you just do what you wanted to do? Both. Um, That's well, how I, I led my team for championship. I'm, I'm you get what so I'm saying? Me, so like right me, now, my mentor me, is telling like, me a certain thing. I'm going to go research my own shit and make my own decision. I'm not going to run with somebody else. Tell me. Yeah. Are you slow? Yeah. I just, I, I personally think the best leaders make the best followers. That's just my two cents. And if, if I, if well, I, I hear you said the best leaders, leaders make the best what? Hold on, hold on, wait, let me hear that. The best follower. leaders make the best what? The best leaders make the best followers. The best leaders make the best soldiers. That's just military one-on-one. We learned that. If you're going to, if you're going to be a great leader someday, you got to learn how to follow somebody. Like unequivocally. So me, if I'm getting a mentor, I'm gonna if get somebody. This, I'm not so much to follow success, somebody, but you're I'm not gonna right. ride they tail all the way. So you basically trying to Girl, tell me. Style, so man. so if you want to get into real estate, right? And I'm I'm Mr. Grant Cardone, who you really who 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 you rock with, and I call your phone and say, Hey, uh, what's your name again? Sean, right? So I call Sean and be like, Hey, man, I got this twenty million dollar deal right now and it's ready to go. Let, let's go. You say I'm with it. So whatever no, I say, because no I'm Grant Cardone, you gonna say okay? Oh yeah. No questions asked. Man, I need. You know what? Let me call him so he can just fuck you out your money because that's what's gonna yeah. happen to you. Well, see, you you want to know? You want to know? This, I'm just be honest know with you. About me? You cannot you be so trusted, about me? and that, and that's how I, I know you're fresh to no. this money because you're gonna no. be so trusting and you're gonna get screwed. No. 
That's that's what happened to new money. You get screwed. <laughs> you get screwed. New that's money fine. always gets screwed because they that's trust fine. too much. You know what? And I'm trying to help you out. Trying to help no, you out, gang. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, when you hear from 10 years from now, you're gonna be like, damn, I remember that live when Chris was on there telling me, hey, stop being so trusted. Ten years from now, I'm gonna be a billionaire and we're gonna be having a totally different conversation. With that being said, with that being said, with that Just being said, don't be so trusted so you don't get screwed over. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that because you hey, can you know what? That's your bag because somebody you know? so you're gonna fumble your bag, you're gonna go into depression, and somebody else gonna come in. Swoop up your head. Head. That's just how it's gonna happen. No. <laughs> no. You wanna see, and this is why. All right, but look, I, and this I, is, I, hold on really quick. Go ahead. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna, go this ahead. This is go ahead, why go ahead. this is why I say invest in yourself and invest in your business. You know why? Because I have ability. Once I learn to make $10 million a year, guess what? Nobody can take you don't, that you, ability. Yeah, hold, on. You no, hold, on, hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Either. Hold on. Nobody can ever take away my ability. <laughs> you ain't gonna give a fuck Nobody can ever take away my ability. See, people who go straight into investing into things, they invest in everything that they people invest in what they believe in. I believe in myself, so I invest into myself. So I have ability to make money. I don't care what happens to money because I know that I can make more. I don't. But you just said that you were going to ride and, and listen no, to no, no, what no, no, somebody no, no, else no, no, just no, said, no, no, though. No, 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 no. no you get what I'm no. saying? Listen, so no matter how listen, much you I'm have invested you, in yourself, you just so told me you done, the exact words came out of your mouth. I said, if I was Grant Cardone and I told you I got $20 million, I mean, let's go do the $20 million deal with this building. Yeah. And I told you, let's go. Would you do everything that I said? You said yes. yes. So yes. what's the point of investing in yourself when you got another man who's going to tell you what the fuck to do? Because somebody's better at that. If this dude's worth $8.5 billion, who am I to tell? How do you know like, he's better he's at that, though? Let me get this straight. So you How do you know Elon he's better at that? You advice and you gonna be like, How do you know he's better at that? I don't trust you to build my business. How do you know he's like, better at that, though? Like, how do you know he's better at that? Huh? Tell me. Tell me right now, how do you know he's better at that? What proof do you have besides a he's book? worth $8 billion. <laughs> because he's out of a, a book you I'm bought, not, what are you talking out of a book about? you bought, out of a book you bought, right? At, right? Bro. What? No. I'm telling you, I would literally learn directly from him. So I'm going to hire a mentor. Bro. So the man is not even worth that much money. He's not worth right, $8 billion, bro. Oh he is not. Now, I can tell right. you some people. Do you know who Richard Hart is? Go Google him right now. Go on y'all phone right now. Google Richard Hart. That's a billionaire. Good. Not no who damn Grant Cardone, <laughs> not a motherfucker who be selling. Look, bro, at the end of the day, look, my, my, hey, I see why you do what you do. You're you're a baby version of Grant Cardone. That's what you're trying to be. You're trying to be a baby version of him. Like, I'm not trying like, to be anybody. Bro, you're nobody. He, he's not worth no fucking money for real. You said what? He's trying I, to be Shanti. I'm trying to be me. I ain't trying <laughs> to be anybody. I'm trying to be me. Nah, you giving Grant Cardone vibes all day. That's and your girl gonna, gonna be phone man. Phone that's your chili. I ain't gonna lie to you, Shanice. Shanice, she looks real fed up. I don't know, but I ain't trying to talk about your relationship. But your chili, man, that's Olivia. That's your go getter right there, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then another thing, I got a question though, because my wife brought up some the other day. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all doing this as like, okay, look, is this a little TV show? Is this fake? Or is this Dude, real? Like y'all real real. Seven, listen, we got offered seven TV shows, bro. That's the least. Bro, of we our don't. Work. No, I don't care about that. What I'm asking you is, are y'all a TV show? Like, are y'all? No, I think this is better like, than any TV show. Y'all be show fucking on for the... real, for real. Or y'all hey, just trying to do this for like the scene? There is, bro. This is real. This is real. This is better than any TV show out there. Oh, that's what's up. But at the end of the day, man, I'm gonna pray for y'all. Not y'all relationship, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for you and your new money, and that you. Listen to what I just said about not trusting everybody that come your way. Because everybody nah, that come your way is not going to see your best interest. Because I'm going to just be honest with you. 98% of the world only give a fuck about themselves. I'm just going to yeah. be honest with you, gang. That's, that, that's, that's fine, bro. That don't mean you can't learn from people. You know what I mean? If somebody screws I me, never what said don't, a little so bit look, That's the difference from learning from people and learning from the mistakes from other people. Do you get what I'm saying? No, I so you can that. learn from people, but are you willing to learn the mistakes? Yeah. Chris. What's up, bro? Hey, man. 
Where can people you you got a coaching program? I don't do that on here, bro. No, I don't do that. All right. So, hey, where can people find you, man? Where can they find my, you? My, they my people, find my community who know me, they can find me, gang. And but all these 30,000 people, look, 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 real quick, real quick, bro. You these got 37,000 people that you got in here. All they got to do yeah. is click my little name and they'll figure mm -hmm. it out. I ain't got to put myself on blast. I don't need the advertisement. I, I'm a, yeah. I don't so need the advertisement. You don't care about helping people? They... I help a lot of people. They're gonna find right. me. If they want help. They're gonna find me, right? If they want help, they can find me. I'm right here on this public platform. Click my name, and there you go. It's just that simple. I got another question for you, man. What's up, big dog? Do you need a passport to start a business? I'm just trying to make sure. To run a successful business, yes. That's why I have properties <laughs> everywhere. Do I have? Yeah, you want to be successful. So you need yes, the passport to run a successful business? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Call me Rick. Call, call, call your man. Call your man. Ask your man about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, show me the so let me tell you something. You, need you a can ask to make a any dollars. person. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. The first thing I thought about when I turned 18 was getting a passport. So let me get At this 18, straight. my dude, when I was broke. You get what I'm saying? So, so, so not to think right. that I got six figures and two bad women next to me. Damn, so wait, you ain't even took your women out the country yet, but you want seven more? Nope, you can't even show them the yeah. world, but you're going to pull up seven more females? Come on, yep. gang. Do better yep. than that. Because look, you know what? Let me not even do that. No. Well, first of all, I don't remember the Rockefellers and the Henry Ford and all that, their family needing a passport to... to Girl, be quiet. Your man ain't even took you out the country yet. When he take you out the country, then you can talk, girl. Girl, be quiet. Yo, you done got snatched up because he bought you a happy meal. No, yo, hey, bro, you just disappointed me, my dude. You just disappointed me. You can't take two women out the country, but you can pull on seven more. Come on, gang. So tell me right now, how you gonna make your? So look, 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 so look. When Grant Cardone what? pull up on your girls and say, hey, let's go to Bali right now. Go to Bali. You can't go. I can get a passport. They going to take your <laughs> girls, though. Like, like, they going to take your girls, you gang. Hey, you right. You right. Please uh, come to Chicago. Do lot. not come to Chicago because my gang going to take yours. Boy, you can't even take them out the country? Man. Okay. Jesus. Right. You really just disappointed me right now, man. You really just right. disappointed me. You can't even take your two women out the country, but you can smash. Hey, I, I got a question for you, bro. What's up, gang? Question. You want to see my How passport on my stamps? Yeah, no, no, no. I got a question. How hard is it for somebody to get a passport? Oh, you get it in one day. But at the end of the right. day. So why is this a conversation? Because you don't have it. It's not and you want bro. two you women. You do it in one day. You Why can't do it though. You should have been done it, bro. You should have been done it. That's 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 just point blank. Period. You should have been done it. And Shanice, you know it's true. That's why she ain't fucking saying that the bus as your cheerleader. <laughs> hey, but yo, let me go. I don't know how to get up out of here. Let me go. I got real business handle. You don't need a passport to run a business, especially if you're. I didn't say you needed a passport to run a business, but a real businessman will have one. I guarantee you, okay. Grant Cardone got one. I guarantee you every billion and millionaire that you want to throw up or bring up that you want to be all about, I guarantee you on my mama they got one. But let me find it though. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me show you something, bro. So this month in March, I spent $138,000, right? So far in March. He jumped off? Yes. I spent $159 on entertainment and fun. <laughs> we barely even go to the movies we don't spend t spend money on entertainment that's just not what we do guys listen there's different strategies different folks different folks our priority right now is not going out the country our priority is getting freedom trips don't make you rich okay you got to get the assets to pay you money to go on the trips why take money and go on the trip and then come back to the same problems Right now, we're chasing freedom. We did $138,000 so far this month, and we spent $159 on entertainment. That lets you know where our priorities are. And the guy said, hey, 
it takes one day to get a passport. <laughs> guys, and if you guys are watching this, hey man, you do not need a passport to be successful. You do not need a passport to build a million dollar business. Doesn't even like make sense, right? So with that being said, with that being said, I wish the guy would have had some type of program to shout out because I feel like, you know, people could have learned from it. It was a good conversation. I know. I don't know. Some people just don't want to share their gifts. It's okay. Yeah. So that's that. Guys, and that's what that's what it is when you're like hyper focused, man. You know what they say, man. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. Most of you guys care about that stuff. Trips, partying, all of that. Listen, and there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. But for us, we're focused on building. I never heard somebody say, this trip made me rich. Going to Mexico made me rich. Going to Bali made me rich. Like, cool. It's awesome. But for me, I feel like, yo, I got to get to a whole nother level. That's just my two cents. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I What's mean. What's wrong? Nothing I mean, it would make sense if you, like, maybe had an international business, but. Make money in America. Yeah, yeah, you guys can make money in America as well. Yeah. And, and like you said, it takes one day to get your passport. So, with that being said, it was awesome. Yo, we got a special, 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 special giveaway for you guys, man. Um, so, a single mom this month, we're literally going to be paying a single mother's rent this month. We're going to have a contest. All my single moms in the chat, put a 10x in the chat if you're a single mom. In the chat, in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. Single mom, single mom, single moms. Okay, I can't get a passport, but I'm about to pay somebody rent right now. All right, 10x, 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 10x. Somebody said my rent 15k. Dang, I'm trying to get like you. You <laughs> rent more than mine. 10x. Okay. So with that being said, what we got? 30,000 people in here. Mm, how do we want to do this? Listen, if you're a single mom, this is what it's gonna take. You gotta send a video of yourself with your kid, like a selfie video, introduce yourself, introduce the kid, and how much your rent is, um, like show us like how, how much your actual rent is. The first person that I see with like the best story um, is gonna win. This is 100% legitimate, this is 100% real. DM me that information on Sean underscore T underscore Adams uh, Instagram. And some lady, some lucky single mom out there, we're gonna pay your rent this month, okay? Um, why are we doing this again true wealth isn't about money true wealth is about impact on people and we want to positively impact you guys we also going to be doing more giveaways man we really want to help you guys and we thought of some other ideas um to help you guys out so with that being said again single moms criteria video of you and your kid also uh tell us how much your rent is maybe you can show us that too uh and maybe like 10 seconds on why you know you want or feel like you should win. Um, so go ahead, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore underscore Adams. Just DM me uh, single mom and then shoot me that video as well. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, with that being said, um, yeah, that'll be pretty much that. Anything you want to announce, Ben? Um, no. Just go ahead and subscribe to the San Diego Royalty YouTube channel and. The San Diego Royalty TikTok page. Subscribe, like the videos, posting more replays, and should we do that? Yeah, no. Um, so, with that being said, um, I'll also, if you guys are watching this, man, we really want to help you guys, right? I, I can't teach you about going out the country, but I can teach you how to make money, all right? So, with that being said, if you guys are watching this and you got a 700 plus credit score, uh, DM me on Instagram, free game, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. DM me free game, um, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month. And I promise you, you won't need a passport to do these strategies, okay? So, with that, with that being said, okay. even if you ain't got a passport, you can still DM me free game if you got a 700 plus credit score, okay? We want to help you guys. Um, and then for my guys out there watching, um, listen, man, if you really want to have super massive success, now I can't teach you how to get a passport, but I can teach you how to make 10000 a week, okay? Uh, DM me mentor. If you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me mentor. Sean underscore T underscore. Adams. DM me mentor um, on Instagram. Uh, and I'll personally reach out to you and see if membership, uh, mentorship is a great, great, great uh, fit for you. 
Uh, with that being said, with that being said, where are the people at? Single moms, please, please, please want to help somebody this month. We're going to also, probably, should we bring them on the show? I think we, we should start bringing winners on to the show. Yeah, we, we need to. We, we need to. Awesome. We do. So, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, No. All right, you guys. Listen, man, you guys gotta 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 take advantage, okay? Winner's gonna be picked. It should be tomorrow. It'll be by the by the first for sure. Okay. Um on that. Okay. You wanna bring up another guest, babe? Yes, okay. Chris is bullet. They say I'm getting my passport tonight. I'm not getting my passport because I don't I don't care to go out the country. The only time I travel is honestly for work or to learn to go to a mastermind. Like I have no interest in traveling. Just like I have no interest in going to the grocery store. <laughs> the grocery store? Oh. Mana Bay, you're coming in. Hello. Hi. Hi, can you turn your camera on? Oh, wait, you got your camera oh, it's on. on. Hello. I am not new to TikTok. Hello, guys. Hi, beautiful ladies. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Mana. I live in Michigan. Nice. How okay. are you? What's your question? Oh, go ahead. I actually have a couple questions for each of you, if you guys don't mind. Yo, what's up? Hi, Sean. How are you? You know, just making things happen in the world. How you doing? You look a little annoyed, so I hope uh, we don't get into anything because all of my questions are genuine and things that I just want to know about you guys. They're not How many languages do you speak? Or How, many I'm languages sorry? Do you speak? How many languages do you speak? I speak two languages. Which ones? English and Arabic. Arabic. What do they know? Uh, yeah. no, I, I was trying to figure out. I wasn't annoyed. I, I am Iraqi, out... actually, yes. Iraqi-American. Oh. Okay. Okay, what do you so do my, for work? I'm sorry? What do you do for work? I manage a doctor's office. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I've been doing that since I was um, Olivia's age, actually, and I'm 26 now. Okay. So, Sean, my first question for you, what was missing from Shanice that made you realize that she was not enough on her own? What made you, what makes you want to find more women? Shanice was way more than enough. Shanice was such a blessing in my life. Shanice's help was an absolutely force multiplier in my life. When I met Shanice, I was a successful man. Thought I was successful making 20 to 30K a month. And then she came and literally helped me like 5X that. Um, just her presence in my life was just a really big blessing. So I, it, was not a, it was never about her not being enough. I just did not want to put myself in a situation to do anything unethical to her because she is such a good and powerful and divine spirit. I don't want to put myself in a situation where I was going to cheat on her or do anything unethical. So, that's okay, so that's my follow-up question. Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to cut you off. Were you done? Go ahead. Were you done? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. If you're not done, go ahead. Yeah, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay, so then my follow-up question to that is, why did you not bring somebody into the relationship that liked both men and women then? So Shanice can also share her love and grow herself as a woman. Why did you pick yeah. someone that only likes men? That, that's a great question. So for me, it was about, um, are you familiar with like Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Um, I've heard of it, but I'm not too familiar with that. But I've heard it before. It's okay, well, self-actualization is like the highest thing that you can achieve. And I feel like most people don't really achieve self-actualization or their highest potential because they're focused on getting basic needs. And I feel like in a man, it's in our nature to want multiple women. What's the point? When I first when I first ventured off into this, I was like, oh, it's I just want to have sex with multiple women. But then I just did some <laughs> research. And I discovered polygyny and I discovered like how, how it could help build wealth, how it could help push people to, to greatness. And for me, 
uh, it transcended my needs and transcended my wants and pushed me closer to self-actualization. And I realized like, hey, I want to do this to build wealth, not to like get my rocks off. That's how. I just wanted something deeper, something with more meaning. And for me, I saw Olivia and she was very powerful. Um, I do see that in Olivia. That was, that was that. So I wanted to partner with somebody that was extremely beautiful, extremely powerful, and somebody that I felt like could help me grow and I can help her grow. Okay. So what I believe is that men are born leaders and women are born nurturers. So don't you think that adding more men to your dynamic would make more sense since there will be more men to lead? Yeah, no, that's a great, that's a great, I see why you think that. But um, quick question for you. How many presidents of the United States are in the office at once? One, of course. How many coaches are on a team? How many head coaches are there on a team? I'm not too familiar with sports, but I'm guessing there's, one. There's one. The point is this. There has to be one leader. It has to be one leader. Where there's confusion, there's failure. So, so why does there have to be multiple nurturers then? Why does there have to be? Okay, so, okay. All right, so upon watching your lives, I noticed that um, you have seven brothers and sisters. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and you also, um, I'm sorry for this question. I It might have been a live that I seen or a video that came across my FYP. But are all of you guys, do you all have different dads? Yeah. Okay. So is that why you want seven women? It has nothing to do with that. Okay. So can you explain the seven part? Because even when it comes to things like religion, like I know Olivia has, I don't want to get into religion, but Olivia has a little bit of a Muslim background, even though she says she doesn't completely practice it. But even in Islam, God only allows up to four women. And those circumstances were from a very, very long time ago. And the only reason that they made that permissible during that time was because during the time of the prophet, there were m way more uh, women than men, I apologize. A lot of the men were in war. And for that reason, they were marrying multiple women because there was a lot more women than men. So what is your reasoning for having seven wives? What do you think you can fulfill with seven people? Yeah, I think that's great. One, I'm not really super religious. I'm more spiritual. Also in the Bible, there was, which is what I was raised upon, there are people in there with 300 wives, like King Solomon. He had 300 wives and 700 concubines. And when he died, the Lord said, I wanted to give you more wives, but you disobeyed me. So with that being said, for me, uh, seven is the number that it's at now. It may go up. It may go down. Who knows? The reason why I want that now is I don't want to go too much into it, but I believe mathematics is the language of the universe and seven is a very sacred and special number. And I also think that um, that right now, I feel like would be my limit that I would be able to like, maintain, right? Maybe if I develop more as like a leader, as a person, you know, down the line, that number could increase or decrease. But right now, I think that number is solid. And uh, based off a lot of the reading that I've studied, uh, it's a very powerful number. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So I have one final question for you, Sean, just because I always hear you say things like, you know, DM me for business advice, or I can show you guys how to make 10K a month. But I never really hear you give examples or tell people exactly how they can achieve making that amount. Do you mind? You have 29,000 people here. Do you mind giving the audience yeah, an yeah, example? Yeah. I, I've done it. And this is exactly why I don't do it, because I've done it like probably like 10 times. Um, but really? sure, I tell people, one of the number one strategies, if somebody's trying to make 10,000 a month, is especially if they have great credit, go and establish business credit, go and get a 504 loan on a storage facility, a million dollar storage facility. They can put $100,000 down using none of their own money, the bank's money. Um, and they can get about 180 units, which will pretty much pay them between 6,300 to $9,300 a month. They can also at that storage facility put a vending machine business there and then also start a moving company and hire their friends and family. And now they got three businesses in one that will pay them between 10 to 12,000 a month. The reason why I lean people towards storage facilities right now are because you can change the rent every 30 days. They are very like landlord, like friendly, if you will. And they also, they also um, have very, 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 very high, um, 
like stickness rates, if that makes sense. Like people don't really like abandon storage facilities that, that often. And when they get them, they keep them for like a long time. And on top of that, America's like everybody's downsizing right now because we're in a recession. So again, that is just free game. That's free information. I have tons of strategies like that. Um, but that's just one example. This right now, though, the fact that you don't know this is exactly why I don't teach it because people come in and out and they really miss it. You're right. And not to mention, people have questions and I can't answer their questions on live because I'm only talking to like one person. So if they have a video, they can take notes and they can DM me and ask questions, which I answer people's questions like a lot. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I know I said that was the last question, but now with you talking, you actually reminded me of one more. So two days ago, I, I've actually been seeing a lot of um, people discuss you guys as their live topics lately. And about two, three days ago, I ran into a live and there were people accusing you guys. There was about 2000 viewers, people accusing you guys and saying that um, you guys asked your guests to open their cameras so you can steal their identity and take out PPP loans in their name. Do you have anything to say to yeah, that? Yeah, people just. I mean, I think that's ridiculous. People but just like, listen, bro. Listen, 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 listen. I don't even know why you say stuff like that up here. It's just spreading negativity. Um, th th no, we do not. I'm do not that. spreading negativity. I'm just telling you. I mean, you kind of are though because that, 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 you, you're up here right now in front of. No, me. not at all. I told you I thought it was a ridiculous thing. So let me that get this straight. Let me get this straight. That let me, says let a me lot. get this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get yeah. this straight. You asked me for an example on how to teach somebody how to make money. I give you a perfect example of not only how somebody can give, make ten to $15,000, but how they can also hire their friends and family. Right. Everything made perfect sense. And for you, instead of looking at that, you want to say That has nothing that. to do with my question, though, Sean. But You're getting does, very defensive. All right. I'm just so telling what, you, what it somebody, wasn't my topic. Okay. It wasn't my live that I had. It was 2,000 people so discussing that it topic. Wasn't, it wasn't even our live. Okay, it wasn't. how about this? I'm telling you people, hold on, I use the word accused. I use the word people are accusing you. I did not say that you were doing that. And I made a statement that I thought that that was a ridiculous statement, which means it's that very, I do not think that. It's very ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Can we move on to Shanice, please? Do you guys mind? Shanice, I have some questions for you. I, no, I have, a, I have a question for you. Like, why do you feed into the negativity? How, how am I feeding into the negativity, Sean? Because, I like, why you, would... It, I like, asked, like, hold on, I want, I wanted you to clear your name in front of the people. I am telling right. you what the topics that are, that people are opening live about. Clearing your name in front of the, in front of people is not a bad thing. See, here's the problem though. There's nothing that you can do to clear your name. Cause if people think bad stuff, you about absolutely you, no. can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No matter what you show them, they're going to think that like the same people that think this place is an Airbnb, even though we hear every day, the same people that think, Oh, we we're not here to do good things. Even though, we pay somebody a thousand dollars for their birthday. Every month from now, we're going to be paying. Did you? A single did you? Month. Did you, right. did you on, ever on, show on, proof on, of on, that, Sean? On, on, did you ever? I'm on, sorry. On. Did you ever show proof of that that you sent the one thousand? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And see, here's what? the thing. Like, here's the thing. You can look her up. Her name is S H I N I A. It's like pronounced like Shania. You can go and look her up. Go look her up, Shania. S H I N I A. Go ask her yourself. Go look I don't need to do that, Sean. I just Listen, you guys will keep doing that, and we're gonna keep doing. We're gonna keep doing good. We're gonna keep doing amazing things. I, I hope like, you do. I, like I don't want you guys to do bad. Oh my goodness, why would I want that, Sean? Can I ask Shanice a question, please? <laughs> Shanice, um, how I actually discovered like your entire dynamic is actually by a video that Olivia posted that popped up on my FYP, kind of just telling the story of how her and Sean met and how they fell in love, et cetera. So within seeing that story, I saw that Olivia had moved in. Ooh, why does that keep happening? <laughs> I saw uh, Olivia had wrote in that video that when she moved in, you were still on deployment. Did you feel some type of way about that? Like with them being together without you there um, and you not really knowing her or meeting her yet and Sean already had like having spent that time with her? So you may have misunderstood the, the video. Olivia and I met long before she had came to San Diego the second time and then started her romantic uh, journey. Okay, but she still did live with him for some time without you being there while you were on deployment, right? For what, like a month? Yeah. Okay, did you, did you feel any type of way about that? Was that? Did that bother you at all? Did you feel like you were left out of a decision? No, not at all, because before Olivia was even in the picture, like, we had already discussed 
uh, it planned on women being in our dynamic. Okay. Olivia wasn't like the Olivia was the first per like first person to be like permanent. Okay, would you have liked to have someone join the relationship that did like women as well? Someone that you might have also been attracted to? Yes. Okay. Do you feel like that might be an ultimatum that you give Sean in the future as he's adding more women into the dynamic? No, no woman why? ever in the history of this world will ever give me an ultimatum. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sean, that was very, like, no, I don't, nappy. I, I wouldn't give him like any type of ultimatum and i also uh why not though I, shanice why not one moment ma'am i'm sorry go ahead go ahead um in regards to uh additions to our dynamic i would prioritize an asset <coughs> over like physical pleasure so it doesn't it's not a preference for or requirement for you to like women okay so as a man that calls you his queen and loves yeah. you, and that you love, and you look up to, I guess, in a way, why can you not give him an ultimatum? Isn't that what love is about? Sacrifices and talking through things? Why did he okay. snap so quickly and say, no person on this <laughs> earth will give me an ultimatum? Like, Sean, I watch these lives every day. Your ego is through the freaking roof. Even when people come... <laughs> And that ask questions really just to be genuine. You're extremely snappy and defensive, Sean, even when you're not being spoken to. Like you. You guys get up here and say the most ridiculous things. People come on here and ask you what the people want to know. You call okay. this your TV show. You have to <laughs> accept what people well, want to ask forgive, you and know me, about you guys. Forgive me for have positive and, and, and empowering conversations. I've been doing that as well, Sean. I've respected all of you. All Every right. single one of you. Yeah. So like we just like we just like we, we prefer to like listen, people can ask whatever they want, but sometimes all people do they want to focus on drama. Like why don't they focus on trying to like go and improve the situation that they're in? We're not judging nobody, but we wanna see people do good. Like people talking about our drama doesn't make their life better. We wanna see people do good. That's what we wanna see. That's what we wanna do. That's our mission. So maybe we're silly and naive to think that everybody's gonna do positive things. And you know, maybe we are crazy, but that's what we wanna see. We wanna see everybody get up here like, hey, I just did this. I just made 10K, I just made 20K, I just made 100K in my business, whatever it may be, whatever, go, hey, I just learned to play the piano. That's what we wanna see, just more positivity into the world. Like people have nothing better to do than like tear somebody down. I totally agree. Totally agree. I wish that people would apply all that energy towards building themselves up and doing things that are great. But I like the haters too. You know why? Because even the haters clip us up and they get monetized on YouTube from us. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, can I ask you a question? Um, when you were discussing, like in regards to like an ultimatum, uh, an ultimatum, excuse me. Um, I prefer just general communication because you can communicate your boundaries. But giving an, an ultimatum is just completely different for me. And I, I, I don't think I'd ever do that. I wouldn't. Okay. Has Sean ever given you an ultimatum? No. Okay. He's never made you choose between him and, and something or someone? No. Okay. Like, I have the... He creates an environment where I feel comfortable coming to him for anything at any time. So it's for me to feel comfortable enough to communicate, for us to communicate as much as we do. Um, if I had an issue or concern, I would bring it to his attention. There's not, like in a relationship, I don't, I don't feel as though there should be a this or that. Like you should always understand where the other person is coming from. And for him to uh, give me the space to be able to communicate, I have the freedom to like be here or not. Like that's my decision. Okay, so say there comes a day where you no longer wanted Olivia in this dynamic. Would you feel comfortable enough to go and, and tell Sean? Yeah. Okay. But that's not my choice because he's the, he's the focus of the relationship. Right, right. So but I I'm telling you, you're voicing your concerns to him. Right, okay. I understand that. Yeah. Um, okay, Olivia, can I ask you? I really only have like one question for you, Olivia. But it... Okay. um. It does have to do with your ex, but it's nothing specific. It's kind of just a question inter interwining, intertwining you and your ex and Sean. I mean, I'm sorry. What characteristics does Sean have that your ex didn't? Like, what was it for you that made you leave your ex and decide to build this life with Sean? Um, well, well, to be honest, my ex didn't really have a mission. 
um, to really help people. Like he had, he was a good guy, good intentions, you know, ambitious. However, he did not have a mission. Okay. When you say mission, do you mean like goals? Like what did he, was he not a go-getter? Like, I don't understand. what. Oh, no, he was a go-getter. It was just that there was, just because you're a go-getter, like, what are you go-getting? Like, (laughs) what are you go-getting? Like, that's why, like, you can do things intentionally and not intentionally. You can just do things because you want a certain, you know, level of success. It was honestly just, I wanted to be around people that thought, that think as big as me and can be able to expand their vision as well. And that's basically what I saw within Sean. Um, he, he just had a huge, huge, huge mission. So yeah. Okay, was he within your age? Like your age group, your ex? Yeah. Well, what do you mean by age group? Well, you're 20, right? So was he in his early 20s per se? Yes. Okay. All right. I think I asked everything I need to ask, ladies. Thank you guys for being respectful, Sean. Um, I got a question for you. Oh, sorry. You guys were like gone. Yeah. What's up? You got a business? Do I have a business? Yeah. Yes. I own a shop. What kind of business you got? Um, it's an exotic snack and vape shop. I don't know if I can say vape on here. <laughs> Yeah. But it's an exotic yeah. snack and vape shop, yeah. Shout your, shout your business out. Um, exotic snacks and vapes, you guys. 908 yeah. uh, South Wayne Road, Westland, Michigan. Yeah. Uh, it's a fairly new yeah. business. It's been about four months. We sell exotic snacks from all around the world. So, like, name brand stuff that you see in America, like Lay's, Doritos, Oreos, but with exotic flavors from, like, all over. Indonesia, Japan, stuff like that. Um we sell vapes, like smoke-related stuff. I don't think I can say that here. Uh, 21 plus, please, for yeah, all no, of that so, stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, we get it. Uh, you know, TikTok's very sensitive. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, you guys, very nice talking to you guys, Sean. Um, yeah. Just tone it down just a little bit with the aggressiveness. No, you know, I'm not so people, it down. So people I'm not going to tone it down. Tone, I don't care. About so that. people I'm not, aren't... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna tell you like I told you last time. Oh, why are you know. cutting me off? God damn! Controversial building in there. Oh, this bad. Oh, this bad. Sean, are you a billionaire? Down. Turn down. When you're a billionaire, <laughs> you can call yourself a controversial. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Tone it down. We gotta tone it up. Tone it down. We got to tone it up. Tone it up in here. Tone it. <laughs> the comments are so funny. <laughs> the real time we get to Made it out the church this type of life. I can't get used to it. Uh. Number one on YouTube. Not a dealer in Malibu. Show you how to work your Okay, so let's reach 600k likes.
All right, let's get somebody up here. Yo, guys, listen, man, I really want to say all the single moms, okay? Please, I am begging you guys, single moms. Listen, we really want to help you guys. I know we get a lot of hate. I know we get a lot of negativity, and that's a-okay. Because if I got to go through a million haters to help one person, that's what I'm going to do. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. This woman travels all around the world, sacrificed months of her relationship, sacrificed, left everything, her friends, her family, everything to go travel around the world, save their lives. Olivia Appleberry is an absolute genius. She's an absolute powerhouse. You guys know me. I'm the man that y'all love to hate. But we love to give. We love to help. So, single moms, listen, man. If you guys are watching this, we want to, we're having a contest. We're going to pick one. One, 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 one single mom. We're going to pay your guys rent, okay? This month, you got you to gotta DM me that you're a single mom. And say send a, a video of you, your kid, and um, let us know how much your rent is and, and show us proof. Uh, we don't want to see nothing crazy, right? Um, but we wanted to we want to do that, right? And you guys may be like, why are we doing that? True wealth isn't about money; it's about impact on people. You know, we wish we could help all you guys, but we got a lot of big things we want to do to help you all, like so, 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 so much. We also coming up with a program for college students, man. There's nothing wrong with college. Not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, man. College students, you guys are coming next. So college students, get prepared. Go ahead. Uh, that's coming next week, man. Going to also be doing a giveaway for college students that are, you know, may want some money for for bills. That college students do not DM me right now, okay? So single moms, make sure you DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Gio underscore Adams. I got 160,000 followers. I will never ask you for money. Okay, let me make this clear. I will never ask you for money online. I will never ask you guys for money. Okay, let me make that super super clear. Somebody's asking you for money. That is not me. Okay, I got 160, 60k on the gram. So with that being said, with that being said, um. Single moms, make sure you guys, please, please, please DM me. For you guys, if you guys are watching this, if you guys have a 700 plus credit score, you want to learn to make an extra 10 to 15,000 a month, DM me on Instagram, free game. We give free information out here. It's just strategy, right? We just give free strategy that you guys can take and implement into your lives to make more money, take care of your church, take care of your community. Guys, tap in, man, tap in. We will never ask you guys for money or anything, okay? So, Free game. It's just free information. Not gonna ask you for your credit card or anything. It's free game for you to go out and execute. Okay. So with that being said, um, also guys, if you guys are watching this, if it, my guys, right, you do want to go to a super high level. You don't want to make ten thousand a month. You want to learn to make ten thousand a week, right? Maybe even a million a year, right? Depends on what you want to do. If you got a seven hundred plus credit score and you're really looking for somebody to learn from, I know we had a conversation about that. DM me mentor. Sean underscore Tino Scott. DM me mentor. And I'll reach out to you personally and see if it's a good fit for you. But I really, really want to focus on the single moms. Please, 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 man. We want to have bless somebody this month. Yeah. So make sure you guys get that done. Okay? Uh, college kids, we got you next week. Be on the lookout for that. Um, with that being said, with that being said, um, yeah, we're just going to do the giveaway. You got anything you want to say? Anything? All right. Well, with that being said, listen, guys, I appreciate you all being here. We love you guys. Peace out. Peace. In the lab. Thank you, baby. Peace.
My pleasure. Peace. Peace.